Hey guys, what's up? My name is Cameron Penner, and welcome back to the great video series where I go through every single drag and drop icon in Game Maker and teach you how it works, and also give you the equivalent in GML code. Uh, so yeah, let's let's get right to it with paths. So set a path. You choose a path. Uh, first, you have to have a path though. So you can go up here and click this little button that'll make a path and then you can make your path a shape and that is the shape of my path and now when we say go on a path we can choose that so set our speed to five say and at the end we can either stop going on the path we can continue from the start of the path so just do the path again or we can continue the path from here right from where we are uh, and that's only applicable to paths that are not closed. So say he does the whole path and continue from here, he'll just start doing the whole path again, right? And then he'll just keep going and he'll end up just moving uh, downwards. But he'll just keep, you know, do, do, do the path from here. Um, and that only works when it's relative. If it's absolute, then he will continue from the start anyways. Uh, or you can reverse the path. So when you get to the end of the path, he just goes back around it. And so we're going to say continue from start. Uh, and we are going to reclose this again. And we are going to say relative. And what relative and absolute do is now if we have our object here and we take out all these, uh, now our object will start doing the path from right here. If we say absolute, it will start doing the path from where it is in this room drawing thing. So, yeah, that's that's all I have to say about that. Uh, so he's going to start doing it right from where he is. And we're going to run this. And you're going to see he's going to move along this path uh, at whatever, whatever speed he is going. And uh, he's going to keep going in circles. And you can also make this a smooth curve. <laughs> And that'll look very nice. See, he just goes around it. Um, so yeah, anyways, that's how you do a set a path. Uh, you can choose any path you want. Hopefully that makes sense. And uh, now, say I want to stop going on my path. When I hit the space bar, we can say end path. Press space. So now what happens is when I hit space, you can guess it. <laughs> he stops moving so that worked just like we wanted it to uh, and also you can set the position on the path to anything you want so we're gonna say something between 0 and 1 so we're gonna say 0.5 we are actually going to put this in here so we're going to start going on the path and then we want to already be halfway through the path right when the thing starts and we can keep that in there if we want it doesn't really won't really affect us but You'll see, he, so he started moving down here, which was halfway from the start of the path to there, and then another half to go. So he started about somewhere around there, um, and and that worked just fine. So you can set that to 0 is the beginning of the path, and 1 is the end of the path. So if we now set the speed on the path, say when I hit space... I want to use my NOS and I want to go uh, really fast. I want to go speed 20 around this path racetrack. Um, we, we can run this and you'll see <laughs> relative. So this is one of the times that you want to use absolute. So we'll just go in here and we will change this to absolute. Run it up. So now he's going as I'm. I'm not going fast enough. I better use my NOS. Ha! Win, win, win every day. That's all I ever do. Uh, so yeah, hopefully those things make sense. Now I'm gonna teach you how to code it with GML. <laughs> so we're going to to set the path. We're going to say path 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 underscore start now we're going to say the path is going to be path 
zero because we never chose a good name for it. Uh, speed is going to be five. Uh, end action is going to be, you have a few options here now. Uh, you can say zero uh, or one or two or three, I think. Uh, I think that is that is the case. But we can we can check that in a bit. Um, and they're just correspond to the other ones. So uh, absolute, we're going to say true because we want them to move absolute. So yeah, you type in your function, open your bracket, type in the parameters, close your bracket, close your statement by putting a little semicolon. Uh, so now when we run this, we're going to see he's going to go on the path and zero, as you can see, corresponds to stop. Uh, and and I do believe that they're the same there. And if I'm wrong, I will let you know at the end of the video. Or earlier on. So, uh, yeah, he just stopped there. Uh, so we actually don't want that there. <laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing? Makes me look dumb. Uh, but anyways, so that worked perfectly fine. Uh, but say, I'm thinking, mm, you know what? When I hit the space bar, I want him to stop move I want him to hit the brakes so you can say path uh, underscore end yeah like that uh, and there's no parameters for this one you just call you just write the function open close brackets and then end the statement and so that will call path end and now when I hit space you'll see wabamo stops uh, just like I thought that he would but say I was thinking, I don't want him to go faster when I hit space. So I just hit path speed equals 25. Even better. NOS than last time. Uh, you don't need the brackets here for this one because this is a variable, not a function. Uh, so we set the variable path speed to 25. And he will set his speed to 25. And also, say when, I'm, when he's created, I want him to already be halfway down the path. Just like our... Yes, save changes. Uh, just like this one here. We want to set position. So we go here and we say path underscore position equals 0.5. Um, so yeah, it's between 0 and 1. You can put a little 0 0.5 in there if you want. And this is also a variable and not a function. So you set the variable equals 0.5. And so now he's going to start halfway down the track. And then when I hit hit the space bar, he's going to speed up. And at the end, he's going to stop because he completed the lap. But say I want him to go uh, at the end, we're going to say he's going to continue from the start or continue from here. We can show you that example. So we're going to say 2, delete that, in here for end action, when he ends the path, we want him to do 2. Uh, so that should work and we're gonna actually take this and we're gonna say it is closed and we're gonna say when he gets to the end it is not absolute so we're gonna go like this you're gonna see he's gonna he's going <laughs> what what have I done um, we're going to we're gonna start him off at the beginning because that's better and we're gonna move this up here Okay, let's let's try this again. Now, when we run this, bam, go so fast, and then he, you can see he keeps going on the path. When he gets to the end, then he just starts the path. He starts here, except he starts the path over here. So uh, that'll work. Also, that that's the end. Uh, but we could say we could say set it to three, and then he'll reverse. I think. Uh, so, speed him up, speed him up, ooh, <laughs> I was right. Uh, anyways, that comes to the end of the tutorial for today. Feel free to hit the like button if you did enjoy this video. If you like this video, uh, go ahead and, and like it virtually as well. It's free, uh, and it, and it doesn't cost you any money, which is the same thing. <laughs> uh, so yeah, hit the like button. It encourages me to make more videos, and it also gets me a little bit out there sometimes in in some ways. So the more of those I get, 
the better I feel. And uh, the more of these videos I will make for you guys. Also, if you want to be notified when the next videos come out, because they will be coming out, uh, all of them, then you can hit the subscribe button. <laughs> and if you didn't know that there's a subscribe button, let me teach you something. Somewhere, it, when this video was recorded, the subscribe button was above the video. Uh, and for all I know, YouTube will have changed many times since this video was recorded. But you can go ahead and hit that button, and and that will make you a subscriber. And then, whenever I put out a new video, uh, you will be notified. So, lesson learned. And if you already knew that, um, then, well then, you've probably already clicked it and are, are checking out my channel right now. Learning new things about Game Maker. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, my name is Cameron Penner, and I will see you guys in the next video.